Miguel is the national sales director for Duran Cigars. So we're going to talk about the, the Duran story, and then as well as that, talk about the new blend and the new Lancero. Well, Duran Cigars uh, originally was created by Roberto Palaio Duran. Roberto has a very long history in this business, and Roberto is from Havana, Cuba, and he got his start in his early 20s working for Habanos SA, which is the marketing and, and, and company behind all Cuban cigars. And working for them, they eventually sent him to the Asian Pacific market. Roberto is very well known in the Asian Pacific Hong Kong cigar world. He did that for many years, and he also controlled Cuban Cigars of Canada as well. Eventually, he wound up joining British American Tobacco, which is Dunhill Cigars. And he headed up them and, and headed up their 100th anniversary cigar that they did. And, and that's when I met Roberto. And, and Roberto eventually left Dunhill to create his own brand, his own factory, his own fields. So it all began with um, a tobacco plantation in Ecuador called Fincas Azan. And from that grew a factory in Esteli, Nicaragua called uh, Nica Tobacco. And then from that came the brands Azan, Roberto P. Duran, and Neya. And that's where the whole kind of story comes about. You know, um, Roberto from his early 20s to now has been in the cigar industry. It, is, it goes through his blood. And, and uh, like anyone in this industry, his dream was eventually to have his own. And now he has his own. We're very proud to be a boutique brand that not only grows their tobacco, we roll the tobacco, and we sell the tobacco. So we do every step of the process. And that's something that I think appeals to a lot of retailers. In turn, when you're doing events and tastings and you're educating people on the brand, consumers love to know that the, the, the person they're buying a cigar from has total control over that blend through every process. And that has been, that has been a great, great uh, selling point for the brand. Duran Cigars is the umbrella, and under that we have Roberto P. Duran blend, we have Nea Classic, we have Nea F8, Azan White, Azan Maduro, Azan Burgundy, and now we've added Azan Blue. So essentially that would be like our sixth uh, line. And Azan is where it all started. Azan is an old Cuban brand. 1928 in Cuba, this brand was created by a Chinese immigrant to Cuba. And the brand was from 1928 to the 60s, and then the revolution came and many companies went out of business. So the factory was taken over by the Cuban government. Roberto, fast forward, marries Isabel Azan, who is the granddaughter of the gentleman who created the brand in Cuba. He told Isa, I'm, you know, I'm gonna relaunch your family's brand. And he did that, and he relaunched the Azan brand, obviously out of Cuba, out of Nicaragua now, and it's been tremendously successful, and uh, we just continue to add to the line. You know, it started with the white and the Maduro, then the burgundy came, and now the blue. There's also another story that's a little funny, I think, about the Naya. The name Naya is a woman's name, and the gentleman in our factory who owns our factory is Irradio Pichardo, and his grandmother, her name was Naya. And so he digs up and finds pictures of his grandma so he can do the band. He says, his words, his grandmother was too ugly to put on the band. <laughs> so we kept the name Naya, but the picture on the band is not really his grandma Naya. <laughs> she didn't make the cut. The brand has been doing phenomenal. And originally it came in three blends, mm -hmm. and the blends uh, it had a, has a light Habano wrapper and really has a very mild to medium mm -hmm. flavor profile. Well, coming to the States, right. people said, we need something bolder. Right. So we created the ne Nea F8 for the American market. Right. There's six sizes. It uses a darker Habano wrapper mm -hmm. and has a very nice full flavor. We're, we're using Lajero in that blend where we don't mm -hmm. use it in the Nea Classic. Right. And that has now become our number one selling line in the United States. So the new uh, Texas Tactical, which is the Lancero, is that part of the F8 family or is it part of the Classic family? This is kind of uh, a cousin of both. Okay. So you have the Nea F8 full bodied, right. the Nea Classic mild to medium. Right. And we took the Nea blend, the F8 blend, we changed the wrapper from a Habano wrapper to a Corojo Maduro wrapper. Okay. And we pared down the blend a little bit and really focused on creating a strong Lancero, which you don't see very often. Right. Most Lanceros tend to be very balanced, medium bodied. This cigar, this Lancero that I have in my hand, this is the Texas Tactical Lancero, 
it really was about creating a Lancero that would give you a different experience. And right. this Lancero is a little bit more bold, in your face. Right. Right. A Lancero for today's American cigar smoker. Every wrapper on every cigar we have is a wrapper that comes off our farm. Right. Finca Sasan in Ecuador. Right. And so we grow Criollo, we grow Habano, we grow um, Corojo, and we started playing around with Ecuador, Connecticut. Okay. And so this is our first batch of Ecuador, Connecticut. We're very proud of it. And so we created a brand, the Azam Blue, to really feature that Ecuador, Connecticut. Right. And that's where the entire uh, Azam line sport uh, Corojo wrappers. Corojo, light Corojo, um, Maduro Corojo, and we really just have a very unique blend of all the Azans. Right. So the Azan Blue was something for the newer smoker and for the guy who just likes something smooth on the palate, and it was a way to introduce Azan to a different group of guys that maybe don't smoke Corojo. Right. Because all three blends have Corojo. Right. So this is an Azan that is way different from all the other Azans. Right. And so we're very proud of it. It comes in three sizes and it is making its debut here at the 2016 IPCPR. Great. I had it last night and I thought it was fantastic. I loved it. Every year it just gets better and better. More recognition. People are seeing our ads in Cigar Aficionado. Right. At the base of this company is, is a Cuban family. So we're very proud of the Cuban heritage, but yet we are very proud to be making cigars in Nicaragua. It seems like many times people really want to always tie it back to Cuba. We're very proud to be Nicaraguan. And so the company as a whole is getting a lot of recognition in the industry by consumers and retailers as a brand that creates good cigars, everything from bundles to ultra premium lines. And and it's it's people are taking notice. So it's it's very it makes me very proud, very proud to be with this company.